What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We're back in the garage with a new part that we're going to put on the Jeep. Uh, a couple weeks ago I asked you guys about what mirrors you thought I should run. Um, it's either going to be on the door or on the cage. Well, I opted for the cage. Uh, a couple people on Instagram was like, you know, if you ever want to take your doors off and run doorless, you, you won't have any mirrors unless you run it on the cage. I was like, good point. So what I picked up was five inch round convex mirrors from Scorchy. I believe that's how you say it. Uh, pretty solid looking setup. Five inch round. Anodized aluminum. Now, you do have to order a separate um, bracket mounting for it because this is a not a one size fits all. You got to have the proper diameter for your clamp or for your for your bars. Scorchy offers multiple sizes. Um, the Rock Hard Cage online says it was inch and three quarters. I didn't measure it, so hopefully inch and three quarter works. I think they have inch and a half, and then they also have uh, two inch, I believe. And I don't know if they go, I know it's at least an inch and a half, inch and three quarter, and two inch for sure. So be sure if you do purchase something like this, make sure you get the brackets, the mounting bracket. Go ahead and get it put on. So my initial thought is to put it here. Tight fit, man, that's gonna scratch that too. And then this will go like that there. I feel like this bar, okay, there we go. Something in there like that, and then make your adjustments. All right, so now that we've got this mounted here, take a 3 16 Allen wrench, tighten it down where I think we want to have it, and then Three sixteenths on this side. Well, maybe it's not a three sixteenths. Well, there's some protective film that you can put over this to help um, not mess up your paint. I did not do that. So. Probably where I want that. Supposedly this breaks away too. To move the mirror in, you have to loosen the thumb screw, then you can move the mirror, bring it back out, tighten the thumb, thumb screw down. Fully locked in position. So to do your angle adjustment, you gotta loosen this, make an adjustment, loosen this out here, make an adjustment, which might be kind of hard sitting inside by yourself.
think that might be all right. Not a big fan of that movement though. But I think I'll be okay. Now we just repeat that on the other side. So as you can tell, that was a really easy job. Uh, two tools, two Allen wrenches, and that's it. Um, they're pretty solid, other than this little bit of movement here. Can't get rid of it. If you know you try to tighten this down too tight, you'll end up breaking it or stripping the bolt or something like that. But it's pretty solid. I mean, it, it, it's a good looking mirror setup, and I think it's gonna work great for what I need. Uh, much better than the ones I had out here that was really flimsy and every time you even hit a branch or something they'd fold in and it just was a pain in the butt. I don't think I'll have an issue with these uh, coming out of adjustment. So, Scorshi's got my thumbs up right now. Only time will tell how it does on the trail.